Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Catapult Kingdoms and a whole bunch of extra stuff, expansions, uh, you're going to see quite a bit of stuff, I'm going to have to go through it relatively quickly to get through it all in a reasonable amount of time. The War for the Floor has begun once more. 30 to 45 minutes, that's a two player game. You may remember from a long time ago, depending upon your age, a game called Crossbows and Catapults. And I'm getting very much a Crossbows and Catapults vibe here. Build your castle, aim your catapult, knock down your opponent. Ready, aim, launch the catapult. So it's really gonna be a dexterity game. I'm assuming it's gonna be a pretty silly game with a lot, a huge toy factor, right? It's gonna be a big, big toy experience where you're launching cannonballs all across the floor. In my case, it was the kitchen floor. That's where I tended to play the game, okay? The game objective is to knock down all your opponent's troops and it shows you how to set the game up, all right? It's a game of construction, destruction of plastic bricks and figures. Okay, not your opponent's pets or people's who may, people who may foolishly pass through the field of battle. Okay, so yeah, we're trying not to, not to harm other people. And, and so it's very, very simple, okay, because there's a multiple languages in here. But basically, it shows you how to set up the game, how to set up your troops on your walls. Basically, you have a tactics phase where it looks like you're playing cards an aim phase, a fire phase, and a cleanup phase. All right, so you've got some action cards, shows you how to assemble the catapult. As you might expect, a very, very simple game. So let's just take a look at the components. These are some, uh, they've got like a nice, almost a linen finish on them. Uh, they're not thick, they're, they're, they're cardboard, but um, they do have a nice kind of sheen to them. Let's take a look at, well, let's first look at the cards because there's, there's some distance markers. We've got a few cards here to look at. Looks like you can play them depending on which player you are. Okay. I do like the art. I think it's got a nice, cute, cartoony vibe to it. We're going to have a whole lot of plastic here. Okay whole bunch of rubber bands so you can see here are these have a bit of squish to them they do have some give but they're definitely harder than like a nerf material they're 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 actually kind of a satisfying they've got a, a good amount of heft to them um i don't think they would hurt anybody or anything but they have enough heft that they feel like they would launch very well let me show you some examples of the minis here for the different players you got this and this guy's giving the nanny nanny. All right, so just taunting the other side here. So we've got a number of rubber bands, which are I'm sure gonna be used in the assembly of the catapults, cannonballs, and the troops that are gonna be placed on the plastic walls. Here is one of the catapults that again, you're gonna have to assemble with, with the rubber bands, but you're gonna basically be pulling back and then it's gonna launch forward. That's the idea anyway, with the cannonball in there. I'm sure you can figure that out. Uh, there's, two, let's see, is there the second one there? Yeah, so you can see two, two crossbows, or excuse me, two catapults. There are no crossbows in this set. And here we've got the blocks. I'm just gonna show you some examples. These again are also, they're, they're light-ish, but they're not so light that they feel like they'd be too easy to knock over. I, I feel like the, the weight and the heft of these are, are pretty spot on. Just intuitively, I don't know that before I actually s sit down and try to knock them over, but it does seem to be nice. There are more blocks over here in the other player's color. Okay, so I can show you those. But we've got a lot more to show, so I'm gonna go quickly here because again, I, I, I've, this has a lot of extra stuff. I believe this was a Kickstarter, and I think we've got a lot of extras here. So we've got the Artificer's Tower expansion. Let's kind of see what this has. It looks like all kinds, you got launching beehives. There we go. We're firing beehives 
All new weapons, new ammo, more bricks for advanced castle building. And they're not kidding around here. There's, they're going full out plastic, okay? The Mighty Plunger. Assembling the Mighty Plunger. More cards. I'm going to show those off really quickly. There's the Mighty Plunger. Firing a beehive. An anchor. Okay. This is... I'm assuming what gets fired out of the plunger. Okay, you can kind of see that there. Don't want that coming at you. It looks like it could cause some damage. My goodness. Here's our beehives, which have very similar material to the cannonballs. All right. They have good amount of heft and weight to them. They feel like they'd be very satisfying to launch. And here's one of the plungers. There are two of them, one for each side. Again, they do have to be assembled, but this is good quality from what I can tell, plastic. It does not feel cheap at all. Like this is not gonna fall apart. It's, it's really got some good heft and weight to it. It feels like a quality toy, I mean, which is essentially what it is, right? I mean, this, as I have said, it has a high toy factor, but it does not seem, at least to me, it does not seem cheap. It seems to be well put together, well made. And we've got more wall pieces as well here with some kind of scaffolding there, all right? So that's that, that's the Artificer's Tower. There's plenty more here. We've got a Siege expansion. Okay, well, ballistas, a ballistas, build a fortress, destroy, ready, aim, fire the ballista. Can you imagine having all of this set up on a floor? Oh, so this now goes to two to four, so you can play it with four players now. Oh, all right. I'm telling you what, this is, uh, this is bringing back some childhood memories. The version of the game, or of a game like this that I had was nowhere near this kind of impressive but this is bringing back memories here okay talks about how to set up the ballista and what it does we've got a piece of it here and all this plastic is really really quality construction from what i can tell got another one right there Show off some more of the minis. One of each here. See, these seem to be, to me, they seem to be nice quality minis as well. All right. We've got some more cards. More of that nice cartoony art that I think suits the game very well. Here's more of the ballista that has to be put together. All right, that's good enough. I don't really plan on putting that together because I don't know how. More walls, more walls, okay. But wait. There's more. We also have the Vikings expansion. What? Vikings? Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not Vikings? Survive the Viking invasion. Ready, set, aim, or ready, aim, defend your castle. All right, well, let's find out. I think this is mainly going to be this big Viking ship. Take a look at that. Maybe, if it will, it is defying my opening. All right. 
here's what I'm going to show you because this is the main. Look at that. That's a that is a big. This is heavy too. Uh, I I I I don't I can't underemphasize that. This is not light car light plastic. This is very very heavy and hefty plastic. I, I mean it, it is yes quite quite hefty. Uh, maybe I will show you one of these minis because these look to be different. So I should at least show you one of those. There we go. We've got more cannonballs in there, but nothing you haven't seen before. And it looks like we also do have some cards. So let's look at those really quickly. All right, more cards. You play during the tactics phase. All right, cards and a big, big boat. That makes up the Viking expansion. And then, you thought we were done? We're not done! We got stuff. We've got a play mat of some sort, or play mats. Okay, I'm not exactly sure. They're probably just your starting position, maybe where you build your, your castles, so. Sure, why not? I mean, we're already pretty blinged out here. Let's make it even more. We've got some dice expansions, dice ammo. So you can apparently, you can use, oh man, these are like rubber dice. I'm not gonna lie, that is really, really cool to me. I love that. I don't love the way I rolled right there. I'm assuming blanks are bad. And if that's the case, I didn't roll good, but these have a really neat feel to them. Maybe all dice should be rubber dice, huh? What? Maybe not. I don't know. There maybe there's a reason why they haven't been used a lot. And then finally, in this massive amount of content for this game, we've got the volcano expansion because we needed a volcano, right? Who doesn't need a volcano? We're going to find out what this volcano is all about. All right. Survive the eruption, because it's not going to just sit there. I mean, of course, it's going to fire out fireballs, because why wouldn't it? Volcano expansion. All right. My goodness, this is crazy. Again, this thing weighs a significant amount. This is not... This is very, very hefty plastic with some, these are actually, remember I was saying earlier those, uh, <laughs> those cannonballs wouldn't cause damage. These are heavy. This might hurt if it's smacked into you. This is a different material. Um, that's no joke. If that came firing out of this uh, volcano, that could, that could do some damage. I don't know exactly how it works. I don't know what the mechanism is for I don't know if you just drop it in the top, maybe? Let's, let's try this. I feel like I need to try this. I don't know. Let me get this off camera a little bit. Let's see if I drop one here. Okay, yeah, see how it comes shooting out of there? Or out of there? If I do one here, it comes. So it's like a mini golf. You don't know which way. That's really pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay, so I'm in on the volcano. Like the volcano, let's show you off these cards that uh, are unwrapped. Eruption. All right, so cool looking cards. Well, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, um, we got a lot going on here. Uh, you, you've seen a lot of content for catapult kingdoms and a volcano and dice. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.